I ended up buying a Vapor Fuse jersey to hopefully get some great news. But man, was I wrong. But in 2023, Nike is making some changes to the limited run called Nike Vapor Fuse Limited Jersey. So still in the limited line, but made out of Vapor Fuse or well, that's what they're calling it. With the 10% increase in price, because before the limited runs were 160, now it's 175. We're probably all under the assumption like, hey, we gotta get some upgraded features to it. Because if you're increasing the price, hopefully it looks even better. This is gonna be a sad video. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what the Vapor Fuse runs are made out of and what changes they made and comparing it to the Nike limited runs from years prior. So if you guys find this video helpful, entertaining, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe. I took the bullet so you guys will know what's happening to these runs. I didn't say it guys, but if you can pick up all the last year's and previous year's limited runs, go for it now before they're all gone. I bought a Derek Carr version of the jersey just because I got it on sale. So instead of paying 175 bucks, I got it for like 60 to 70 bucks. All right, picking it up off the bat. So it actually feels pretty much the jersey base is similar to the Nike limited runs of years prior. The base is pretty much the same, no differences there. But when we get into the details, this is where it sucks. When it comes to jersey sizing, it is built pretty much the same, but the big details. So we're used to the stitched runs. So you look at the nameplate, it's heat pressed. It's heat pressed. Are you heat pressed? Oh, it's heat pressed as well. Yep. Look at it guys, all heat pressed. So all the numbers that used to be stitched on the limited runs are all heat pressed. This number four pretty much feels, if you've had like the NBA versions or the MLB Nike replica ones, same type of material, heat pressed onto the jersey you can see here. Yeah, Nike logo still embroidered on both sides. That is the sad difference. Yeah, wait till we get to this. So like I said, heat pressed, heat pressed, embroidered. The NFL shield luckily stays the same. Beautiful still. They kind of made, I think, a little design change on here. Like the little chainmail kind of look to it. There's a little design change, but not good enough to warrant a $15 increase. So all heat press and here's the kicker the jock tag so it kind of looks like the nba jock tag now and the material <sighs> so it feels flimsier than the the old runs the old runs were like really thick and it looked nice it looked different now it just looks like a standardized one that they do for like the nba or mlb I get what they're trying to do, but man, that old jock tag was much better, I think. Say goodbye to these types of runs. So the old ones had the nameplate, but those are actually stitched down. Numbering, single stitched. Oh man, goodbye numbers. Goodbye nice numbers. Goodbye stitching. Man, what a great time. Luckily they kept this one the same, but you know, just the chain mail looks a little different. This one actually like feels thick. The other one feels a little thinner. I don't know if it's just that particular one, but that's the major changes. And then the jock tag, it just, it's like nice and thick and just tough feeling. I think it looked dope just because it was different. It was different than the rest of the uh, other jock tags. But now, <sighs> say goodbye. As a consumer, I am super disappointed in what they're doing and making changes to. Cause I mean, before getting a stitch jersey for that type of price point, and now you're increasing it and then taking back the quality, it, it hurts because like you won't ever see these old limited runs again. It's kind of like when Nike, I mean, Adidas did that to the basketball jerseys. So it's like they had stitched down versions and Mitchell and Ness had stitched down swingmans. And when they went to a heat press model, it's just like, dang, man, all those good jerseys gone, never see them again. But at the end of the day, if you're used to these Nike limited runs that are stitched down, 
it's gonna be hard to go back to buying the limited runs and having a heat press version. So you're gonna have to funnel and get the Nike Elites if you want that best product. So I get what they're trying to do, but as a consumer, it really is a, like sucks. Like it's, oh, it's a drag. So if you can get your hands on the old limited runs, grab them, keep them while you can, because those are not gonna be seen ever again. So it's gonna go screen print on the game jerseys, the limited runs are heat pressed, and the Nike Elites are the best of the best. You get a stitch down just like the NFL players. But man, it just depends on what you're able to afford and what you wanna pay for. Well, this is the end of it. Um, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. And if you were gonna get the Vapor Fuse limited runs and you didn't know what it looked like, and you saw this video and was like, let me not do it. Hopefully I saved you some money.